Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. 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 Just waiting for. Hi. Hi. How good evening. I'm good. How are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. This I'm is sorry, exciting. I just scheduled the live for 6 p.m., but I was facing some network issues, so. Now the data is fine. You have a good network. Yeah, 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 yeah. it's it's fine. It's fine. Okay. Yeah. So you don't need an introduction, but still, we'll wait for more followers to join join in. Yes. Yes. And then we'll. Hi. Hi. Okay. Hi. 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 Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us. Sunday evening, a lot of people are joining. That's good. Yeah, it feels Sunday evening. It's good we chose Sunday, right? Yeah. Hi everyone. Oh, hi guys. Hello guys. Thank you for joining in. <laughs> Shall we start now? I think we have enough number of. Uh... Yeah. Think so. People who have joined. Tell a bit. Like, can you just introduce yourself to our viewers? So oh, yes, of course I can. So I'm Manali Desai. I am a freelance writer and editor and a blogger and uh, author of three solo books plus two anthologies. Mm -hmm. Recently, my book, uh, The Art of Being Grateful, released on 15 July. And Suruchi and I are going to be discussing that book majorly. Other than that, she's free to ask me whatever she wants to ask. <laughs> <laughs> There'll be a lot of questions I'm wanting you because I have so much in mind. <laughs> I'm excited to answer them. Don't worry. Okay, so I've noted down these because I don't want it to look blank on the live. So I've made a couple of questions. <laughs> so the very first thing that I wanted to ask you that what very very mainstream question, but what made you a writer? Like, what was the inspiration? What was that little push? So the most major inspiration behind my writing is my reading habit and my love for English language. These two were the main factors. I have been a reader since I was like eight or nine years old, and uh, my fascination with uh, language started once you know the English language uh, became a compulsory language in school curriculum. Yeah. Since the you know in the pre-primary and all, it was just a time pass subject. But then it became like, <laughs> then it became like a major thing, and I got attracted to it. And also, it helped that I English was a subject that in which I always scored the highest marks. So that was a strong reason for me to be attached to both the English language and the habit of reading. Okay, so when did you like first this this thought of writing a book, uh, you know, enter into your mind? Like, when was that that particular year or? Uh, so the thought of uh, writing a book was always there. I mean, it was a dream actually. Uh, when I started reading, and the first book that I read, I was like, maybe someday I can have a book that someone can hold and be fascinated by. That was just a whimsical thought. I never thought it would come true, but it became an ambition uh, once I became an adult and you know became a professional writer. And I had so many people telling me that I have the ability in me to become an author not just a writer i can become an author too so that that i think came in 2013 12 or 13 yeah I, that that much confidence i had in my writing that i could become a writer so you have a blog right you have a blog na uh, named yes. a rustic mind so yes. is that why you named your first book a rustic mind for so oh uh, yes actually yes So the blog came first, and then the book came. And uh, I always wanted uh, a rustic mind to reach as many platforms as possible, which is why uh, my pen name is there everywhere. It's on I mean, Instagram. My blog is a rustic mind. Dot my Instagram page is a rustic mind. My Facebook page is there. My YouTube channel is there. Everything is a, a rustic mind. So rustic. the idea was to make it reach as many platforms as possible. So why, like, why did you choose this name, a rustic mind? It's quite fascinating, and I was like, <laughs> so uh, I, I was always a person. In fact, even uh, today I am, uh, who's 
a person who is uh, attracted to the countryside and rustic basically means something which belongs to the countryside yeah. and you know it's untarnished but it also means something which is simple something which is not damaged you know something which is clean and my thought process has always been like that that uh, i i put my uh, words in a way that people are able to understand easily it's not very complicated it's something very relatable very simple so that's how the whole uh, idea of the name came into being a rustic mind means something a mind is telling which is very simple to understand okay. Okay. yes your words are very simple the language is is very plain and lucid like it's very comprehensible and why short stories why did you know plan to write short stories or poems okay so uh, it's a long term plan actually uh, i just a few days back someone was asking me that why don't you go ahead and write a novel now that you have ventured into so many uh, forms of writing why aren't you getting a novel <laughs> so that's a you know a step by step process that i'm following poetry was something that i did from since i was a teenager around 12 or 13 years old so is something that uh, you know i began my poetry journey poetry writing journey so that was the first plan if i wanted to start a debut uh, into the publishing industry the plan was always that i wanted to it to be a poetry book okay. then the advent of uh, micro tales came in and i started writing those micro tales when uh, ttt started and that was around 2015 i think ttd started with this whole idea of micro tales and writing something concise was always my you know uh, forte you can say because poetry also i write four or five lines and they are very impactful they they are very powerful yes that's what people tell me and i i believe yes. that is true they, they are yeah that's true that's true so yeah so the step by step process is that first poetry then micro tales now short stories now non fiction and then a novel that's the plan <laughs> okay so yes yes you are taking it step by step yes okay that that and the major reason that i have not yet released a novel is that because i do not have a good plot line or a story in my mind i am waiting for some inspiration to come to me for you know converting it into a novel yes. i don't want it to be you know just something that came to me and i did it half heartedly i want it to be something which people would be interested in yes yes so in your book in your the most recent book that was the art of being grateful and other short stories there was this short story love in the air if you remember and it has a twist like it actually has a twist and i i wasn't expecting it to be very honest and i was so you know at peace with myself when i read that story because not much writers not much indian writers venture that field you know they usually talk about romance not same sex romance why do you think that is why don't we see indian authors venturing you know this field of same sex romance i think they are hesitant of hesitant of the acceptance of such stories and uh, that that's a major block for them also as you said even i myself have not have not read uh, many indian authors who have ventured into lgbtq mm. and it mm. it was challenging and as well as exciting for me to try it because you know it, i wanted that twist to come and the main challenge for me over there was you know not revealing it till the end how because people would be under the impression that who is that person who is that person and in the end it was like oh my god <laughs> it was actually a very you know revealing to i'm just like oh my god what did happen like i was very excited to read that story i just went back and read it again like to be like this yes. is true <laughs> so everyone who read that story they were like we read the story again to understand oh my god was this you know revealed in the beginning did we miss it yes yes it was like it was very 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 you know it was unknowingly it, it came upon us and then it took us a moment to realize that yes it has actually happened we actually read this thing then i was like is it even correct like <laughs> <laughs> that actually is my favorite story in the book because it was very challenging for me uh, to maintain that kind of you know flow where the uh, gender of that person is not revealed anywhere yes 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 
So there's this the first story that we have. Uh, what was the title? Wand in love. Person. Yes, wand in love. So you introduced a new genre at this time. Like it was this horror thriller, and I was reading that story at the dead of the night. Like it was around two or three. Oh my god! I chills. I chills down my spine, and I was like, Oh my god, Manali, why did you write this? Why? Why was this supposed to be the first first story? So you. Know, <laughs> What what did you think when you put it up as the first story of the you know collection? So I wanted uh, it to have an exciting beginning. You know, people should get excited from the very first page. And also, when I sent out the stories to few of my trusted beta readers, they were like that this should be the first story because it is the most uh, you know exciting. Plus, it would be able to you know maintain the pace of the entire book. Yes. Once, once the readers are hooked on from from the first story, they will be like, "Ha, आगे भी अच्छा ही होगा." So that had to be maintained. Yes, yes, I, I agree. I was like, "Oh my God, this was so intense!" And I had to read this at that point of time. Like, I could have read it in the morning, but no, I had to read it in the night only. <laughs> Actually, I wrote it also in the night, and it was very scary for me also because I'm, I'm a very hot two person. I, I can't sleep with the lights off. When I'm sleeping alone, I can't sleep with my lights off. So imagine when I wrote, I also had chills down my spine. Oh my god! So, but I am very happy that whatever. Sorry. I'm saying I would really want to see Wand in Love as a longer story. Maybe someday I will. You you never know. <laughs> yes, I also want this to be the longer story. I was like, oh my god! Thank God it was short. But. When I realized when it hit me, actually in the morning, I was like, it could be longer. But at the night, I was like, oh my god, thank God, it's short. You know, I changed the ending of that story five times. I didn't understand where to end it because I wanted to leave it up to the readers to figure out what actually happened in that call. But I didn't want to explain it. If you explain it, the charm of it is gone. So oh. that ending was changed four or five times. Oh my god, there was so much effort into. It. Put into it. So you talk about you know the the importance of women in our society. Like I have been part of three of your books, and I see a lot of women empowerment and the vitality of women. So like, who is your inspiration in life? You know, who who you look up to as a woman when you write those stories? That's an interesting question, actually, Suruji, because uh, most of the people I know would say that they are inspired by their mother. Or by their, you know, sister or something. Yes, yes. yes, I am also, of course, inspired by the women who are around me, who are close to me. But the fact is that I am inspired by women who I have come across in the entire lifetime because each one of them has taught me something. Right from you know people I have worked it worked with or people I have known in my personal interactions, my batchmates or my colleagues or you know my family or my close circle. They have each taught me something and. most of the stories that i write they are inspired by all of them they are a combination of all of those women that that is great that is great so as uh, you said that you have been a reader since childhood what kind of reader were you like what what were your favorite genres i would be you know lying if i don't say jk rowling because that's what got me started into fiction but my very first book that i read was the black beauty and oh my god i cried i i spent the entire night reading it and i was in tears by the end of the book and that got me hooked into this you know magical world oh my god such a world can also exist and you don't need to step out of the house to you know experience such magic that's that's how i got hooked on fiction and so your uh, genre is fiction Yes, fiction definitely. Fiction. In fact, non-fiction is something I started very recently, three years ago. And okay. I, if someone asks me, I would still say fiction. Non-fiction is something you know, it is relatable. That's why I read it. But otherwise, if you give me a choice, I will always go fic for fiction. Okay, okay, fiction, fiction. So cutest you- bubble. <laughs> Simran has written cutest bubble. <laughs> It's a big thing. Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, so you in your preface you mentioned your husband and you were like, oh, please read this book. So did he actually read it? <laughs> 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 this 
so this one honestly he has re- read most of the stories be- before they got published but the untold stories he has still not read oh my god but yes. that is that is like very close to my heart the untold stories <laughs> thank you <laughs> and it actually still remains a favorite of so many of my followers because uh, that's that's you know it's completely different and uh, yes, across the world it's a book which has not been uh, explored by many writers because micro tales is a genre which is still untapped you know the the thing the stories could be long but their beauty lies in being their micro you know so looking at you you seem to look like a foodie like a, 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 that was there this story was there that had the this gaja as you please yes there is gaja sanwa so are you a foodie like oh head strong foodie yes i am i am a big foodie and especially i like uh, homemade food i'm not a you know junk food holder i like mm-hmm. ghar ka khana and give me anything i will be so eating what, it what, any time of the day what is your favorite snack while you are eating while i'm eating popcorn or hot chocolate popcorn ke sath hot chocolate best combination <laughs> okay so there are other things that i wanted to ask Let me just see. Thank you, Simran. She's sending her hearts. <laughs> Hello. Thank you. Thank you, Simran. Thank you, Simran. So yeah, you already told us about your upcoming novel that is going to be a non-fiction. <laughs> so the next one is going to be a non-fiction book. it's going to be a non fiction book so when around when it is going to be you know released i am hoping by january 2021 oh thanks cross that that's very soon that's very soon <laughs> so when do you usually prefer to write like is there a certain time you know time zone that you you know prefer or a certain place certain nook that's your favorite uh, mm-hmm. yes uh, nook has to be there has to be a warm cozy you know you know there have to be books actually i need books around me when i'm writing and the time the creative writing usually happens after dinner around 8 9 pm and that's that's the time when i am you know most uh, creatively active otherwise during the day i'm writing my doing my professional writing like my blogs or my yes. content writing yes yes okay so how did you choose the title of this book and the cover was very very beautiful so how did you choose the cover no. and the title uh so i am a huge fan of flat lays uh, give me anything with a flat lay and i'll be like oh wow so it immediately attracts my attention and my heart melts so uh, i was very insistent that i wanted a flat lay cover on the book which is why most of the story covers also if you see they are flat lays uh, yeah, yeah. and uh, oh yes so uh, the tie was between uh, the cover of as you please and this one uh, the one which we have chosen yes. as you please was my top favorite but when i shared it with my you know close circle and you know i wanted their choice what what should we go ahead with yes, yes. they were of the opinion that the cover uh, of as you please is looking like a cookery book cover so that had to be chucked out and i agreed with them do my heart broke because i want i really wanted that cover yes i also wanted that cover but now when you've said this thing and now i'm thinking i was like okay this this was the right choice <laughs> and uh, the cover that we finally chose uh, the immediate feeling when you look at the cover is of very you know a pleasant thought you you are feeling grateful right away that you are looking at something very beautiful so that was the idea and and the title the title actually <clears throat> the story was titled something else completely uh, i don't i am not able to recall but when i read the story two three times you know uh, the whole idea that was coming to me after reading it multiple readings was that this protagonist is tr- actually trying to figure out what what is you know being grateful all about and how should she learn this art that's how the title came she's trying to figure out how to be a more grateful person yes 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 
so like do you sometimes suffer through writer's block <laughs> no for me actually my biggest writer's block is my mood uh, that's the only thing that stops me from writing and uh, you know there are days when i'm just not uh, i just don't want to write because that's something i do every day and i'm like nahi read aaj mujhe sirf read karna hai mujhe kuch nahi likhna hai that that's my biggest writer's block so when i talk with you know writers who write this you know my friends who are writers one of this major thing that they suffer through is writer's block so being a writer and an author can you like are there some suggestions to overcome this uh so my biggest advice to those who are you know facing the problem of writer's block is go and read something go and read something or watch something engage in an activity which you know gives you happiness for me that activity is reading whenever i read i am usually in a better mood and i can go back to writing so yeah engaging in an activity which makes you happy is definitely the best way to get rid of the writer's block okay someone is saying hello to you reading what I do. in my free time so it's either uh, reading writing uh, watching movies or web series or i also paint sometimes and do some crafts <clears throat> but the painting is something i don't share with anyone you know that's something very private to me i broadcast it everywhere <laughs> okay that's so how was how's lockdown treating you like how is how's life in lockdown how has it changed uh personally it hasn't been very 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 good but on the professional level this has been the best period of my life because i was able to finish this book and uh, i am getting a lot of time to update my blog engage with other writers other authors and that would not have been possible if the lockdown were, lockdown weren't have happened because people are so busy in their lives you know they don't get like we are doing these lives also so frequently otherwise who gets the time to do those lives every 2 3 days a week you know so yes virtually it has helped me connect with a lot of people yes there because there's so much time because you know we have got, life has you know just come to a halt but virtual life has you know we have engaged more we have made more friends more things have happened virtually which is a which is you know a very healthy thing in a way yes 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 it is Because we have realized that even virtual friends can be can make a huge difference to your life. Exactly. Yes. So, Hi, Shivani. Thank you for joining. I think that's all I had to talk about. Like that's all the questions. That Such I interesting questions. I had fun answering them. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for joining us, Manali. It was great, great, great having you this. Yeah, thank you for having me. Bye Suruji. This was great. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye.